Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hopefully your conquest is going well so far, I know mine is. By the way, I'm not here today to talk about conquest, but to go through the latest challenge. It looks like our run of Max Crate has come to an end, well at least my personally, because it's Jawa uh, versus Separatists. Now if this would be a full Geo squad, I think my Jawas would be able to pull it off, but uh, Trench is proving a problem. More about it uh, once we get into the battles. Uh, so as always, there'll be YouTube chapters uh, below if you want to skip through to any particular battle. Otherwise, I will go ahead and start by reviewing the modifier Geonosis Arena. Uh, nothing really game-breaking here, just whenever a unit uses special ability, they gain stacking health, offense and potency. And then in terms of Java modifier, a very fun one. So Javas will gain 100% extra protection. So you can mod your Javas for protection to make them more survivable. And whenever a thermal detonator explodes, Java allies will recover 100% protection and gain some stacking speed as well. And on top of it all, uh, as, as well, if Javas were damaged by debuffed enemy, we will be inflicting thermal detonators on everybody, which can't be evaded or resisted so a little bit of extra ways to apply thermal detonators not just solely relying on the uh, scavenger unique now in terms of the modifier for the separatists now because they do have geo brood in there uh well at least at tiers at higher tiers at lower tiers sniper droid will be summoned but at higher tiers uh geo brood uh, gets summoned so there is no sniper droid however they do get extra health speed protection yikes all right P pretty powerful modifier as we know for separatists now let's look at the feats so we have to win with a full team of java units and inflict stun 30 times and thermal detonators 40 times now if you can get your javas to win you know they should be able, be able to uh, knock out the thermal detonators otherwise you have to do it differently so first I tried my Jawas here on tier 10. Let me just show you how I modded them just that you maybe get an idea if you're trying to do this. Uh, so I mod everybody basically for protection because remember from modifier we are getting 100% protection. Uh, so they just need to survive long enough for thermal detonators to start going off. Uh, now Jawa Junior I modded for speed. Remember he gains plus 10 speed for the Jawa droid allies. And I modded him, he's at 330, so his effective speed will be 380 and it was still not enough to go first. So the enemy is really fast. Now Scavenger, because of his unique line in the sand that's applying thermal detonators on the enemies, you do want to mod your Java Scavenger for potency, just to make sure those thermal detonators don't get resisted. Unlike uh, the, modifier, the modifier that applies thermal detonators can't resist it, Java Scavengers can't be. Okay, uh, let's hop in the battle. So this is tier 10. This is as close as I got a few times. I was just unable to kill Trench. I had to restart multiple times that, you know, I was able to get to 1v1 situation with Trench. Now Geos, because they attack a lot, uh, out of turn so much, they do stack up quickly those thermal detonators, whereas a Trench does not. Also, I believe it isn't like the Trench converts half of his health to protection. So his ratio between health and protection is very high which means thermal detonators don't do nearly as much damage to top it off all he's also constantly recovering protection because of protection over time uh buff so to take down trench you will actually most likely need your jawas alive so they can actually help with the damage you won't be able to solely take down trench by relying on thermal detonators as you can see i got to 1v1 situation but i simply don't have enough firepower with all my team dead by this time because they're all gear 12 more or less so they weren't able to survive long enough and trench on his basic he's just hitting like 100 200k on crits oh, man i wish my trench would be that good <laughs> so yeah i've given up on tier 10 uh so no red crate for me this time so i'm just gonna go hop down on tier 6 and my javas hopefully should be able to handle this with ease so as you can see here in the lower tiers they don't get a uh, brute summoned i guess Geo Brood Alpha doesn't have Zetas active on tier 6, uh, which means uh, no summon, so they do get Sniper Droid. And actually, Sniper Droid is more annoying than the Geo Brute. I would much rather have a Geo Brute here uh, at this point than uh, Sniper Droid, because Sniper Droid has got this insta kill and things like that, can ignore taunts and everything. I'm like, why am I even playing this? Surely these guys can handle this on auto. Ooh, there we go. As you can see in tier 6, like thermal detonators don't stack up as much on trench, don't do a whole lot of damage. You really have to rely on your 
uh, Jawas here uh, doing the damage and finishing of Trench. So let me know uh, if any of you guys are able to complete uh, tier 10 with your Jawas and obviously what the gear relic levels were and I'm keen to find out like what's the minimum requirements. So uh, with Jawas done, let's go ahead and turn attention to the remaining phase, which is the thermal detonators. Now, a couple of different ways I was able to do it in one account here that to have Ray unlocked. I just uh, went in uh, Ray Jawas, see it auto play, and you should be good to go here. Uh, Ray's obviously leadership will keep these guys alive uh, with the damage immunity. Thermal detonator will stack quickly. They'll start going off, and then in the end, Trench. Obviously, we do have Ray here, so her ultimate. Like even the Whirlwind wasn't able to finish off Trench. You need to unload the ultimate. The Trench finally goes down. So there is thermal detonators for me in uh, one of the accounts. So let's also uh, show you a team for the stuns. Now, some sort of Jedi squad. Obviously, Luke. He's got a mass stun. He's good. Then Isla on her basic whenever she crits. Uh, so you could do some sort of Jedi Master Kenobi or Jedi Master Luke uh, team if you have them unlocked locked if you don't i just didn't use them that you know you can also kind of have a mix of other jedi jedi trevan he's got as well stun on his direct focus um so he helps a little bit with stuns but mainly he's there so we can ignore the taunt and just keep hitting trench because remember trench if we are hitting allies he'll be gaining bonus turn meter uh so jedi luckily just remodded him to be as slow as possible so as soon as he takes a turn we will slow them down that's why bringing in anakin is useful because he quickly gets a bonus turn can get heroes arise and then we can reduce enemy speed get a mass stun out there yoda's good obviously for extra protection up but also he's taking a bunch of turns so you can quicker get back to back uh, uh heroes arise abilities so you can give more turns to look but otherwise you will just keep on focusing on trench because if you're hitting his allies he'll be he has a chance to get 100 percent turn meter that's why i'm kind of uh trying to avoid doing aoe's with anakin just basics on trench now with yoda i do his aoe just his, so he gets a bonus turn uh, same thing with Revan. let's go ahead uh, swap turn meter uh sure one more turn to until mark is back online let's go ahead use heroes arise all right trench getting in there uh, all right that's fine let's go ahead uh, spread some buffs uh, let's call ally for assist whenever we can as soon as she's critting she will be stunning okay so just basic with anakin no aries let's go ahead get it mark online again with trench uh, so this is how you play it you just kind of keep marking trench keep you know stunning him as much as you can no need to do the aoe with anakin again that you don't trigger too much bonus turn meter and you kind of slowly slowly but surely uh, work down trench and as soon as trench goes down um, you can finish these guys off very quickly but again without a fit tracker like do you know how many stuns you got so i just stalled as long as i could however these guys uh, did uh, started to make a run at my guys i'm like uh oh well i gotta win this battle now uh, so i decided to go after brute alpha because as soon as brute alpha goes down obviously they uh, lose all of their these attacks out of turn so it becomes things become a lot easier so just drag it out stall it out get my stuns out let alia stun on her basic as well and this completed now for me the stun phase so some form of jedi team can get the stuns done uh, for you now switching over to my other account i don't have ray unlocked in this one i do have jabba um so some sort of jabba team i don't know just throwing greedo in there and as well mob enforcer because they both can apply thermal detonators i believe um so we'll try to do similar thing like with jedi i put buff immunity on geo brute so then i can kind of keep targeting trench so i don't tr trigger his bonus turn meter too much and we'll just keep going he's a little bit annoying trench as you can see but eventually we'll get him down with the ultimate there from jabba um i know there we go contract triggered uh we can put disarm over on trench uh, and at this point i just hit auto play and wait for the ultimate uh to be fully charged and then i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i target trench so i disabled auto at this point uh, i'm gonna target now trench hit auto again trench gets nuked by rancor and then the other guys will go down fairly quickly now there we go an aoe from leia finish them off and jabba i guess is another way uh, to complete this thermal detonator feat and another team that, that i did in this account for the stuns is uh, pop squad so we've got their hunt so he goes first so he can stun uh trench because trench is very fast so just go ahead stun him get him out of here gonna start off with the shock uh, aoe first 
so we get a, a shocks out and then gives Ma, ta, Mala gets a taunt so then Trench or other guys that hit Malak will um, fear themselves uh, just basic there with Malak on Trench just to get tenacity down on him he's got very high tenacity so landing debuffs on him will be a challenge without tenacity down now with tenacity down uh, you know we can start getting stuns out spreading shocks using let the hate flow with palps Han a little bit helps with the stun uh, so does uh, Malak with his uh, middle ability, he can stun shock the enemies, Kalos uh, ability as well has got stuns, Mara's middle ability has got stuns, so all of these guys help out a little bit, but really obviously it's Emperor Palpatine that started the show, and just let, let the turn meter flow, keep taking turns and you know getting those mass stuns out, Trench as you can see is very tanky, very durable, so just keep hitting Trench and the other guys just keep stunned and you should be good to go there, you don't have to worry about it too much. No more AoEs uh, with Mara at this point, I want to stall this battle out um, and just keep using basics so Palpatine gets called to assist and then gains bonus turn meter for each uh, shocked enemy, so he gets more of his uh, AoE, uh, AoEs. Uh, with stun abilities again without fit tracker it's like anyone's guess but at this point i'm like i think i'm good i think i got four mass stuns out at this point i don't know then just hit auto play and these guys finished the job for me and this now completed the stun fit in this account as well so there you go guys a few different uh, ways uh, for both stun and uh, as well thermal detonator feed hopefully this was useful and helpful and you know even if your Jawas are bad, uh, like tier 6 is doable for the gold crate, if not, at least you can get silver crate. And your two Omicrons. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. Hopefully on Monday we'll be back to red crating this, if not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, at least we got conquests in the meantime to worry about. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life, and may the RNG be with you my friends.